Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, it's here. It's TJ McConnell in the 1960s. Now, for years now, across NBA Twitter and the social media community, they've talked about saying any player from today would fit in the 60s. Today, we try that with one of the premier floor generals in the NBA. TJ McConnell has already got a hand on the ball there. No strip there. And there's a board for T.J. McConnell. He's taking the place of Jerry West. Now, on paper, he should dominate, but in NBA 2K, ratings are assigned to players, and realistically, the players of yesterday are all in the 60s and 70s compared to the players of today. So McConnell is 78. There's his first jump shot. It's down. T. Trey McConnell. Game, of course, on Hall of Fame difficulty. The commentators are not Kevin Harley, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith. They're VP102. So if you enjoy this idea, be sure to leave the video a thumbs up, a comment, and stay till the end. Help that algorithm. It's already pretty tough these days. Here's McConnell. Out there with the legendary late Elgin Baylor. That's a shot I don't think Baylor has ever taken. Another factor we have to look at in this game. Is the way the 2K staff has rated not only the players, but their tendencies. Now, there's limited footage of the 60s available, but I don't think anyone should be saving a fadeaway from all the way out there. Bill Russell, the post-fade rebound, put it back in. I do not remember seeing a singular clip of Russell but the post with the post-fade, but nevertheless, here is the star of the video, TJ McConnell. Working it with Elgin Baylor. Russell taps the rebound to Satch Sanders. KC Jones, the legendary Celtic dynasty. One of only two teams from the 60s in 2K. It's un quite sad as Russell. Drop step finish. Gets his second deuce and here comes CJ McConnell. He's dumping it into Big Elgin Baylor. We see how the tendencies definitely are in favor of the old dump it into the big man. But if you go back and watch the 60s Lakers games, a lot of the shots were dribble pull-ups taken by none other than Jerry West. Looks like we've put Wilt Chamberlain in the body of Bill Russell as Russell. Looking to score early, only averaged about 15-16 for his career. So we will see how realistic 2K is. And McConnell out there. There's Tommy Heinsohn. The Celtics are just going to go with the big fella. And this is already looking unrealistic, to say the least. As Bill Russell did not play like that. I mean, he could score the basketball, but he did not post up and look to shoot the score first. I don't think Havlicek is on the Celtic team. And I've yet to see the late Sam Jones. Because we'll take a timeout. We'll be right back with you. All right, we're back with the second here. McConnell. Supposed to be the star of this video. He is still sitting on the bench to start the second. So it looks like we may need to change some things about this challenge. Now, I want to talk about something else that's funny here. You see the tendencies, the style of the game being played here. It's being played. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I could see him hitting that shot. But the point I wanted to make is you see the players coming down. And you're going to see it here. Now that right there, what you just watched, the last two shots, that looks a little more like the basketball was played like in the NBA in the 1960s. But the majority of these possessions have all been post-ups, and not just post-ups, post-ups with the, the back down. The, the back down in the post actually was illegal during the 60s. So guys like Will Chamberlain, who scored 100 points in a game, but he didn't do so with backing down in the post. He's sort of dominating that Shaq style. That 
many assume he played with. Of course, my video about Will Chamberlain and his patent fadeaway shot from a couple years ago sort of shows. But I, when I released that, I didn't realize that he wasn't even allowed to back down in the post. And that takes away a lot of stamina and it may say a thing or two as to how Chamberlain was able to play literally in full games without going to the bench one time. But in this game, it's funny to see and of course not a lot of people going on just to play with the 60s so it's going to be quite difficult but to me it's funny to see the, uh, the back down being used now thus far on this possession 424 left in the second you see the quick ball movement quick shot and this is something more similar to what you'd see if you were watching a vintage Celtic Laker game off the top of my head I know you can watch the 1969 NBA Finals in good quality here on YouTube. Uh, full fourth quarter. But not a lot of footage of the 60s. If you're unaware, there is so much issue with the broadcasting and the existence of that footage. Um, the majority of these NBA games were not even recorded. Perhaps only on local television if they were recorded. The NBA was the equivalent of a, a pickleball at the time, just a sport gaining popularity. It wasn't, look at that slam there by LaRusso. With the limited amount of TV channels in the beginning of the, really the beginning of the television era at the time, uh, there were not NBA games for people to watch all the time. So when Will Chamberlain scores 100 and there's no video footage of it, it's not that shocking. Then again, that leaves several NBA players, as I mentioned on that video, several NBA players, former and current, I know Brandon Jennings off the top of my head, that will say that that game did not even happen. But come on, they, no, the majority of the games weren't on video. Just because that game wasn't on video and living it on radio, I know several people here where I'm from in the Philadelphia area, they love to use that as a talking point. You get a lot of the older generation upset if you say if you question the reality of Will Chamberlain scoring 100 points. So 234 mark of the second. TJ McConnell's back and starting to put in perspective for me more why people play through these challenges instead of just watching the CPU go at it. Perhaps we should uh, throw LeBron James in. He tried to throw in McConnell as uh, he's been compared in some ways to Jerry West. I don't know if it's just the appearance. A lot of it is, but they are both mid-range terminators. So I thought maybe McConnell would be shooting those shots that West would be taking, but the way these teams play here in simulation, a lot of direct passes, a lot of passes to the post. Post back down. This isn't 60s basketball. So perhaps I can make a more entertaining video if I just score 100 with McConnell myself on this mode. Foul on Elgin Baylor. We'll send him to the line. Elgin Baylor, late great. One thing I remember about Elgin. Now, I first discovered him, which is back on a 2K14 video of Chris Smoove, titled Baylor the Bully, where he went crazy with Elgin in a My Team matchup. Elgin had a low three-point rating, but the entire mid medium distance, he was uh, red hot. Back on 14, a game where they did not change the skills of every player. Like, for example... Uh, if you had Sean Kemp, he was a guy to go to the hole, dunk it like he did in real life. If you had Hakeem Olajuwon, he was the post-up guru. He sent it into the post. If you had Dwayne Wade, he's a mid-range master. But now on 2Ks of today, the, the players I just mentioned, they all can do everything. Dribble outside the three-point line, shoot threes, shoot from five feet behind, ten feet behind the three-point line. I mean, I mean, there's no uniqueness to the players anymore in this game. Heinsohn. High off the window and one. Now we're nearly midway through this simulated game. 
And TJ McConnell, he made the first three, gave us a lot of hope. It's done jack yet since. Make that one for Tommy Heinsohn. Celtics color broadcaster for years. Recently passed away. Rip to the legend. And here, Dick Barnett, made famous for his release here in 2K. So I think McConnell, so adept at getting his teammates involved, he's just passing them away, passing away. And these, this is beginning to be a little hard to watch. Rebound, Russell and one. Well, he looks like a man among boys. McConnell committing this foul, his first of the game. See Bill Russell, the green chucks. Did they have those back then? I know they had chucks. I don't know if they came in green. So Bill, one more. Got to skip through this. Looks like I'll have to turn up TJ's mid-range tendency. And there's the substitution again. They just took him off the floor. All right, this is not. This challenge is not working. We're gonna look at that for another 20 minutes of my life, where I'll stop this here. Uh, for one half, let's probably do it here. Cause I'm not gonna be able to. TJ McConnell, one for one, three points in five minutes. And Elgin Baylor is just taking all the shots, and he's playing like crap. So that'll do it. Thank you for joining us for this little experiment. We're going to work on it, have it out another episode. See what happens when TJ is the number one option in the 1960s. Thanks for watching, everybody. VP102, just having some fun here. All right, bye-bye.